Hey, it's Thursday. Welcome back to the news. Let's get right into it. If you log in right now and your email is verified, which it most likely is, then you'll get a free helmet that looks like the one on the screen here. The face is for the armor. Uh, I actually don't know if I have the helmet in game. Let me check. Oh, I do. Let me enhance it and equip it for you. All right, first time ever equipping it. There it is. So the, uh, the face on it will just be whatever armor you're wearing. So if I change my armor over to this one, See the face on there. Change the face below. It's just a hairstyle right there. That's pretty cool though. That's a free helmet you can get right now. All right. A house. A Legion house. I was pretty excited for this. Keyword is what? Uh, not that it's a bad thing, but it does cost $40. Here is a design that was post about it. If you want to know more info on it, let's go over it really quick and we'll move on. Uh, the house has six rooms, including the exterior, plus an armor and character customization room. A customization station sounds way cooler uh just like yelkar uh gaze in the abyss while you contemplate your new look and take a screenshot to show all your friends yeah you better take a screenshot it's gonna need a lot of a lot of sales to for forty dollars uh so yeah yeah it's part of the upper tier package uh which includes uh the upper tier package right here i think yeah so you get the helmet house you get a bank pet or a bank item for your house so it's an item you can place in your house and then click on and it's kind of like a bank pet but for your house which is kind of cool i there was only one in the game before this and it looked really ugly so that's pretty cool i i, I honestly want to get this but it's so expensive i probably won't maybe we'll see uh paragon dreadnought armor is for the low tier of course you get the armor and sword if you buy the low tier package in the month of march moving on Elena giving us a sneak peek at what we'll see tomorrow for the map. It looks like we're in space or a void or something. And it's, yeah, the void. So <laughs> we're going to the void and it looks like we're going to be fighting some Nolgath themed enemies. We'll see. All right, this is this is interesting. I, I find it to me it's interesting. So I started, uh, I've stared so much at Dage Solutions collab up. This week and last night, I dreamt I, it started staring back. So today, I made my dream a reality. So Elena put googly eyes on the clad bug. And if you scroll down, it says that this was a joke not intended for release. Keyword is intended. Intended means it wasn't intended to be released. Could it be released? There is a good chance it, it will. So if we look at her character page right now, you can see the collab bog with the googly eyes on her character page, animated and everything. So she went through the effort of putting it into the game. If it's on her character page, that means it's in the game. So we could see this either for Deja's birthday or April Fools is coming up soon. So we might see this item in the future for Adventure Quest. Elena retweeted this recolor. It's a dark caster recolor, reshade or whatever you would call it, of Scarlet Sorcerers. It looks really good. I think that arm is that arm part new. I think it's it looks better than the Scarlet Sorceress armor. Uh, not better. It looks different. It's yeah, upgrade for me. I would definitely buy this if they sold a recolor of Scarlet Sorceress an AC tag version uh, for two KSC and it was like Dark Caster Sorceress or Scarlet. It wouldn't be a Scarlet like a uh, Legion Sorceress or something. That'd be a cool uh, class to have as a recolor. And Elena retweeted this. Probably just because it looks cool, but it could technically release. A lot of stuff she retweets does release. Uh, this, I would say there's a lower chance of it coming out than most of the stuff, but we will see, I guess, tomorrow or in the coming weeks. All right, we're about halfway through the news. If, if you're curious what's coming out this month, we can go through that really quick. So March 2nd, which is tomorrow, is Dage's birthday, Fate of the Evil Part 1, Birthday Gear and Collection Chest. It's the 10K AC chest that's coming out. I don't know if I talked about that already in this video, a 10k chest is happening for Dage's birthday. Sorry if I'm the one that had to break that to you. My apologies. Although, there are some good things with the 10k chest. I'll explain that really quick. The 10k chest uh, does not have any locked items in it. So, they're not locking any items into the 10k chest. Uh, there is locked items for the event through the upgrade packages. Like the house and the house bank item and stuff. Those are locked behind the upgrade packages. But that happens every month and we're not going to avoid that. Feels bad, man. Uh, that they're legion items and you can't get them for legion tokens or acs but it's not not that big of a deal 
Uh, they do that every month. Uh, so the chest is 100% okay this month. I'm okay with it 100%. Like, I really didn't like it when they were locking items in it, but they're not locking items in 10k chests this, this time. So if you think it's a good value for 10k CS, you can buy it. If you don't, you can just get all the individual items. You don't have to buy the chest for any locked items, which is really good. So on the March 9th, a week later, we have Deja's birthday. Uh, part 2, Legion Fiend Hunter set. So Fiend Hunter is from Furrow on Twitter. Uh, and you've probably seen this that I added in previous news videos. Uh, I think they're releasing the first version on this event. And I think this event, the Fiend Hunter, might be a different version of it. Uh, I might be wrong about that, but I think that's right. If I'm wrong, crack me in the comment section like normal. Uh, so on a week later after that is Lucky Day, Grunwog, Holiday Event Returns, plus the Holiday Map Revitalizations. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So we've seen revitalizations in the past. Uh, it just means we don't get a quest line or anything that week. So we'll see what happens with this. Uh, this says uh, later in this video we have more news about this. But uh, actually I think right here. So part of that update it looks like. Yeah March 16th. Uh, will be. Um, yeah so they say they're releasing this set right here. From Shadow Slayer. I think it's this set. Which just sword looks badass animated i wonder if that's going to come out into the game but i think this set is the one that they're releasing and there's going to be complete his whack'em smack'em makai mini game or for venture coins for the void knight and void monk armors uh void knight void monk armors so those will be available there's also a cape there in his hand that's a cape not a weapon i mean they do have weapon versions of the cape but it's a cape that is just in someone's hand. So there's probably going to be a cape version of that that they're selling for 2K, 2.5K AFCs also. All right, I got a little lost there. March 23rd is the Lake and Seraph Order Finale Part 1 and plus Event Awards. And then a week after that, we get Part 2 plus the Full Moon Feature Gear set. Also this month, we're adding 20 new buyable house inventory spaces plus everyone gets five for free that's pretty cool so if you log in right now to the game and you go to your inventory add space you'll see your house is you know, if you already had maxed out it'll be 45 out of 40 if you didn't have maxed out you'll have five extra and then they're adding 20 extra so is that uh 65 in total or maybe not maybe it's just 60 in total uh house slots so it's probably 60 in total would be my guess so that's pretty cool if you like customizing your house all right, uh, more about that cape that we saw on the Void Monk. Here's an animation of it. Of course, it's the Eternal Flame cape that we have in-game already. Uh, I have quite a few of them in my inventory. I'm a big fan of them. They look pretty cool. So it's this cape, and they've sold this cape in the past before many times. Yeah, the normal price for it's like 2.5k AC. Uh, we'll see what, whether it's going to cost ACs or be farmable or what for this time that they release it. And it could not be a cape. They could just be doing weapon versions of it, which would be really sad. Uh, but that that is a possibility that they don't release a cape. But, but it is a cape that sometimes is turned into a weapon. So it wouldn't make any sense if they just released a weapon, at least in my opinion. But I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. Here are the new skills for the new class that's coming out tomorrow. Can't wait for that. I'll be using it on the stream tomorrow. If you want to see the class in action, that will be... Uh, on the stream tomorrow. Can't wait to use it. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So tomorrow is Deja's birthday. There's a new class coming out. There's a bunch of items, a bunch of stuff. So it'll be pretty good tomorrow on the stream that I do every Friday. And last but not least, LAE with another Legion set. He does a very good job. His Twitter handle is right there. I'll link it in the description also if you want to link to this tweet. Uh, he's calling it the Archfiend Dragon Knight. Now, will we see this in game? I don't think so, based on what Asuka said. Asuka, I think he added it as Asuka, and Asuka just said no. <laughs> uh, but it is very cool. I love the face tattoo with the dragon on the Miltonius face. That looks really sick. Uh, yeah, and there's a lot of like the swords are really badass. The shading, like normal for LAE, is really badass. The visor on there, like the Soldier 76 looking visor, really badass. Uh, it's just, yeah, that's. That's the one word I use to describe that set is badass. So that is all of the news we have for this week. I'm pretty sure if I miss anything, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely uh, 
pin it or like it or whatever so other people can see that in the comment section check the comment section there might be more news than i missed uh, i don't know uh some of the skills changed too i don't know if you probably know about that that was on twitter i think a week ago but uh yeah not a big fan of the abyssal angel skills thank you for watching this video leave a like if you liked it subscribe if you're not already uh check out the live stream i did yesterday if you want some content while you're waiting for the new update to come out of stream for a few hours just today farming legion tokens and chatting about the update and more in depth on my thoughts on the legion update from everything we've seen so far so if you want to know my opinions and a little bit of venting on the update that's yesterday i try to stay positive in these news videos the stream yesterday was not so positive on this event uh but we will see you on friday i'll bring a positive attitude to the event on the stream on friday hopefully i'll see you guys there have a good one peace